Hi! Welcome to part 1 of my review featuring Demon Gate, Beyond the Sea of Falling Skies. This is an expansion for the Demon Gate role-playing game. If you haven't seen my other reviews featuring this apocalyptic demonic fantasy role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This expansion features 60 new key abilities and more rules for martial arts. You have new weapons and armor designed in the far reaches of Mian Wu. This is a new section of the campaign setting. So this expansion includes a new map as well, character classes, new species, and many other things. Let's start talking about the quality of the PDF. When it comes to my criticisms, I did spot a few typos, and some of the images look slightly blurry or pixelated if you zoom in too much. And when it comes to this blurb or information text, it would look much better, in my opinion, if you were to raise the text just a bit, so that it's a bit more centered, that way the J of the just keep the fires high at the bottom wouldn't look too... like it clashes with the circular border. But that's just my opinion. Now let's talk about the good things of the quality. The graphic design in general is excellent. The book is well organized and written. Everything is well explained. That is, despite those few typos, there won't be any obstacles when understanding the content. The illustrations are appropriate for the theme. So overall the quality is good despite those criticisms. And although the book has a hyperlinked table of contents, some bookmarks would also work great. Now let's talk about the contents. First you have an introduction to what this expansion is. This book expands the world of Demon Gate. It is the third atlas composed of the far eastern realms of the world of Koth. The first is the northwest map found in the core rulebook. The second is in the expansion, the tortured south. The map given in this expansion is the third out of four maps. Even though they say there are unknown lands yet to be logged or discovered even further beyond the reaches of the continent of Kalesh, many believe that we mortals have already completed the task of mapping those locations. In the setting of Demon Gate, there are many untold stories about creation. There are many untruths and many assumptions about what happened or how all life came to be where it is now. Many cultures and many species have different outlooks and different beliefs. These species were taken from their homeworlds by the demons long ago. In the darkest ages of enslavement, the demons tried to erase all knowledge of the past. They knew that knowledge was like a strong rope connecting all of us and our lineage back to ancient times. This rope carried all that we had learned and achieved and suffered so that we could learn from the past and improve ourselves in the future. Knowledge is power, and they wanted all of that for themselves. Even though they did not completely succeed in cutting the rope and erasing every piece of literature and history thanks to the struggles of many heroes, they did an unholy amount of damage. No one in the world will have all of the answers of creation, not even the gods, just as it should be, is it not? And before that, I forgot to mention that there is a bit of fiction. To avoid spoilers, this is basically a fragment of text explaining the ponderings of a warrior in his final hour, perhaps his finest hour. He is thinking about life, death, honor and sacrifice, and it sets the stage for this particular expansion, which has a strong oriental warrior theme to it. Let's talk about the Chronicles of the Northeastern World. One of the oldest records ever found in the Northeastern realms was written upon clay tablets kept by the Oni, a species that is known to be half demon in origin, created by the dark gods themselves, or so it is said. In the year 2510 of the fifth era, there is a record of the Oni amassing an army of great power under the rule of Yo Raum Hul, the hunter of prophets. There are entries in an old text called Thel Durameth Ol Gye, which in Urohu, the demon tongue means the blood of the soul forge. The text suggests that Yo Raum 
was one of the first of the five Oni to have ever been successfully created by the demons during their renovation of the Nine Hills. The book mentions something called a Soul Forge, where they would attempt to craft mortal beings and endeavor to duplicate what the Divine Plane conceives quite naturally. They continued this foul activity, striving to create souls to fit the gates and make the demons more powerful. Every soul that worships them, every prayer that utters their name, makes them stronger. The Vataji were the first to be created to design a pure race of Cambion beings, winged and beautiful. The dark science and twisted blood magic did not work in the way Val had intended. The mutations continued to create multiple tribes of failures to the Dark Lord. Although angered by these incessant disappointments, he would still use them for a purpose. It was in the lands now known as Gael that the race called the Oni would be cast and foretold to rule this part of the world through steel, blood and spell. Some would say the Oni were created in the likes of one of Val's demon lords, the first Carnage. They could have easily come from the Forgotten Worlds, just like the giant Nephilim in the Sixth Era. Some beings were even brought from other planes of existence, not just the Primordial Realm. The Age of Thrall was a time filled with oppression. It was an era that would be cursed by enslavement and the mutations of flesh and spirit. There is another legend surrounding the creation of the Oni and the race that now inhabits the country called Kalesh. Some say the Oni were made using the lifeblood of the bog Kroll, both ogre and troll, a race pulled from a forgotten world called Gargon. This giant race of goblinoids was also enslaved in the Age of Thrall, like so many others and used for the demon lord's unsavory scientific experiments. In the tablets of Quath Sul, it is recorded that several demonic beings were given the duties of a dark ritual discipline. These groups were called the Brood Covens, a team composed of demonic entities capable of horrific scientific research and experimentation in the matter of mortal mutations and reconstruction. A blood alchemist, an ossificator, and what were known as flesh architects were bound by demonic laws and meant to serve as Brood Covens. The ossificator would build abominations by mutating and splicing genes. They required the reconstruction of bone and the abhorrent leeching of blood magic to create some of the most fearsome hunters the world would ever see. Taking the lives of elite slaves, the vile demon god Quat Sul and his brood covens shaped several new subspecies throughout the years. Perhaps it is impossible now to track the records back of what was created in this world and what came to be from the forgotten worlds. Some creatures would gain in numbers quickly, while some withered and died off. Not all of the creations lived very long, but some still exist to this day. It is believed the Oni may be one of them. They were used to take over the country of Mian Wu. The Order of Sion and other religious orders like them attempted to burn all knowledge of the old worlds in their attempt to craft their own truths. In this terrible act, much knowledge was lost sadly for all time. And this is just a small fragment of the lore contained in this expansion. This concludes this part of the review. In the next part of the review, we are going to go deeper into the lore of Beyond the Sea of Falling Skies. I really like how the new background history is tied up with the core story, that is, the information presented in the core rulebook makes sense with these new details, nothing clashes, everything intertwines. Thank you for watching this part of the review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending drive through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.